Well, over the last few weeks, we've been showing you T-shirts that I own, and I've been explaining, well, object lessons to you. This is the one from, what, what was year is this? Oh, my goodness, I forget what year this is. And uh, this is from our, vac oh, 2011, our vacation day camp here at Church on Queensway. But I loved it that year because the theme of it was the big apple adventure. And we had apples everywhere. We had apple pie, apple turnovers, everything like this. It was quite delicious. To be truthful, one of my favorite desserts is a good piece of apple pie. You can't get anything better. Well, the reason I come to you today about this is because I was thinking about the Garden of Eden and where Adam and Eve ate the fruit and the forbidden fruit and there was sin for us life. And, and some people say it's the apple and so forth. I always thought the apple got the bad rap. But, but here, here's the craziest thing, how people will assume stuff that's not in Scripture. Example, there's nowhere in Scripture that it says it's an apple. Yet when you talk to people about Adam and Eve in the garden and, and the, the fruit, and the, you hear many Christians will say apple. And I've always felt sorry for the poor apple that it got pegged with this. It's not the orange or the banana, but the apple. Here, here's today's lesson. Don't add to Scripture. In Revelation, it talks about this, where it says that we are not allowed to add to Scripture, but also don't delete Scripture. There are some people only use the Scriptures that they like, and some preachers only use Scriptures that will make them popular and sell their books. The Bible teaches me that we need to study and be part of the full counsel of God, which is Genesis to Revelation. When, when I saw the Big Apple t-shirt, I wanted to talk to you because I, I, I like apples. And, uh, you know, if you go with some people, oh, that's the forbidden fruit, which nowhere in the Bible does it say that. It's crazy how some people have translated the Bible and there's nothing in the Bible to even stand on that one. Example, a few years ago, I had a guy say to me, if you're not preaching King James, you're not preaching under the anointing of God. And I said, where is that in the Bible? Don't add to the Bible. Don't delete, but live the Bible. By the way, I love apples. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.